Uh, it is official now. Uh, Chance Hymas to Honda for amateur here for the next year or two. Did you see his elevated video? I did not. Yeah, he was tested. He wasn't riding the 2022 yet. Uh, he was riding the 2021, I think, at Paula. Okay. Um, that just looks good. I mean, we, you know. We, this is the amateur signing of the last five years. I mean, you literally let Team Green bring this kid up, develop him, and before yeah, you even oh, yeah, went yeah. pro, on that you have sense, now yeah. signed him, which is awesome. And on top of that, you're about to win some amateur national championships for the next two years while yeah, he's doing that. Because basically, he even said in his interview, he goes, like, there's no rush. Everybody's talked about it. It could yeah. be 2023 before we see him. Or he well, could go do all the amateur nationals 2022 at the end of 2022, do some outdoors, kind of like what Levi Kitchen did, and mm-hmm. then Supercross 2023. And or who's his manager? Well, yeah. What? What? Who's his manager? Is it Myrtle manager? Oh, yeah. Though? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually just seen, though, who they replaced. Well, they didn't replace him because it would be hard to find a talent. But they already signed somebody um, out of the B class to that took over for Chance Hymas. Who would they sign? You don't know who he is, though. Uh, his name's Preston Bass Flug. He's a kid out of uh, Washington. Bass Flug? Bass Flug. Yeah. He's fast. He's good. He's going to be good on that bike. He's not going to be Chance Hymas good, but he's going to be really, really good. He's also It's kind of weird, too, because he's also very, very young like Chance. Like yeah. I think he's only 15, and he's only been on a big bike for like a year and a half. Hmm. Um, it's a good signing. It's not Chance Hymas, but he's going to be really, really good. I just saw a video of him today um, riding with Anderson, uh, Varese, Benjamin Garib. Um, he's good. He's going to be good. But as far as Chance Hymas on the Honda, it's very interesting to me because – like Geico, we know what they did with the amateur stuff, whether it mm-hmm. goes back to Kennard, you know, you the Wharton, Bogle. This is a good question. Like, what are they going to do with these amateur nationals with him? Because we don't have a Geico semi to send there anymore. So I'm going to assume that they're going to send a mechanic and one other person in the back of a box truck. Okay. There's no way Team Honda is going to go to the race with a, a just a big rig, like yeah. a semi for one person. doesn't matter if it's Chance Hymas or not. Like, that's they're not going to do that. Um, it is weird though, because this is, this is the first time that I can think of that a full blown factory team has signed at amateur, like full blown factory. team. Yeah, that is interesting. That's never at happened HRC, before. Yeah, yeah, that's never happened before. Cause you know, you had, you had team KTM, but that was the orange brigade with Volan. We know that, but that was orange brigade. Uh, Gas Gas kind of has a few of their guys. I think Casey Cochran, they're going to sign him. Star, even though it's the Yamaha team, is not like, even though I guess now they would be, but like it's still, you don't consider Star like, oh, they're straight from the manufacturer. You know, Pro Circuit, obviously, with Team Green. Like, Suzuki hasn't had one in, since the Colt Grass days. So, like, Husky, I mean, yeah, kind of, but not re- like this is just a little different to me. Yeah. So, I'm really wondering how this is going to go. But see, here's the thing. He has no reason not to succeed now. Like no. he's gonna be, even though his national bike is gonna like his actual like pro factory bike is gonna be different than his amateur bike, but it's not gonna be that far off. He can. There's no way he's gonna go to the line at any of these races now. Going, I don't. I I have the best bike. Yeah, I have the best bike without a doubt. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how it goes for him. I think he's gonna be fine. I think he's gonna be really really good. Um, he's gonna be the guy for the next two years in A class. Yeah, like I said, the only guy there's only two guys that I think that are going to be anywhere near him, and that's Romano and LeBlanc. And LeBlanc has an issue staying healthy, so I think it's pretty much just going to be him and Romano. I don't think LeBlanc's going to be in the A class until after Hymas is out, anyway. Well, LeBlanc because Romano is going to move up here. Well, LeBlanc has already raced A races, but his thing is he's always hurt. Like oh, he's okay. li- but like Romano, I think it's going to be the Romano chance Hymas thing. I think it's going to be those two just battling back and forth. But yeah, like it's cool. It's Romano's real- young though, isn't he? He's younger than Chance. Okay. He's Chance is sixteen or seventeen, mm-hmm. and I think um, I think Romano's only fifteen. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be very very interesting. Like, we got a lot of talent coming out of these A classes. Like, yeah. we got good dudes. Like I said, if LeBlanc can stay healthy, Romano, you got Chance Hymas. You know, you got Base Flug for the Kawasaki team. Um, there's a kid in the Suzuki. Uh, I think he's from he's from South America. His name's Leo Dorico. Like, there's a lot of good mm-hmm. dudes. Which like. The last couple of years, I'm going to be real honest with you, we really haven't had that. Yeah. So now we got a lot of we got a lot of good talent coming up. So that's pretty cool for the future. Um, it's just going to be really weird seeing a full blown factory 250F. It's going to be sweet at the nationals. I'm excited. The only thing that concerns me is is that if things don't go well right away, I mean, yeah, I don't even think that because he's got he's got all this time. Like yeah. Honda's not pressuring him, so I don't even think that. So no, 
I think he'll be fine. Yeah. He's got a, he doesn't really have any pressure on him right now. Yep. Especially when you got the Lawrence brothers as your teammates. Yeah. Which exactly. is also cool for him. Like I don't know how much he's gonna talk to them. Yeah. But like, how cool would it be as a sixteen year old be like, Oh, I got Jet to Jet or Hunter to go talk to and like, oh yeah, by the way, Jet's only like a year older than me, so mm-hmm. we get it. Like yep. we understand each other. So that's pretty cool too. And so Jet, that's Jet slaps cheeks, so I'm sure you can help me slap some cheeks. That's what's gonna happen. I meant in racing. Oh. Oh. Okay. No, no. Haven't you heard? No. You didn't listen to the Whiskey Throttle with them. No. With the Lawrence Brothers. They they call him Casanova mm-hmm. Jet. Yeah. Because he's so good with the ladies. Sure is. And that means he's not good with the ladies. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> That's that, what they were saying. That so. kid is so awkward. Yes. But Hunter, obviously, is doing pretty well because we already already seen his chick at the Nationals. So That's his wife. That's his wife? He's yes. married? He's been married. Oh, my God. I didn't know that. And she's loaded. Well, well maybe him. not so much anymore. Yeah. She had an awesome job when they met. How old is she? He's only 20. I don't know. But she had some awesome job working. Was it a bank or diamond store or something? I don't know. It's in the whiskey <laughs> throttle thing. A diamond store. No, I'm not kidding. That is I'm only not Lawrence. kidding. Yo, bro, what your, what'd your wife used to do? She sold rare diamonds. No, she didn't sell them. She oh. was like, uh, I don't remember what he said. You have to go listen to I have to go listen throttle. to it. That's interesting. But now. yeah, and he's like, he's like, yeah, she definitely downgraded going with me, but it's cool. <laughs> I wonder if Justin Cooper's chat feels that way. Oh, God. Anyway, 